You ain't gonna get into all this stuff. I still ain't got into Psalms 126 where I told you to turn. Keep your Bible open. <laughs> Somebody shout, he's helping us see. He's helping us see. See, I had none of this plan. Matter of fact, I couldn't have planned none of what I'm doing. The wisest man in the world couldn't plan nothing like this. You, you can't plan. Come on, some you can't plan a move of God. That's about half me years ago in that long revival in 98 and, and uh, Lakeland where I first met you at. And uh, they, they said, how in the world do you have enough material to preach that long? Five months? It's <laughs> <Some> material. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't about material. Hallelujah. Matter of fact, this ain't about nothing material. It's about the miraculous. It ain't about the seen. It's the unseen. It ain't about the known. It's the unknown. He said, call unto me. I'll answer you and show you great. Here it is. And not of things you know not. Glory. Jeremiah 33 and 3. That's why Jesus said you need a prayer life. You need an altar. Because I'm going to do things that are great in my... Here it is, preacher, that you know not of. You didn't learn it in cemetery. I mean seminary in class. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Learn how to preach. <laughs> Learn how to pray. What a joke. You can't learn this. If you learn anything, you'll learn to just follow it. Move with it. I ain't, said, I ain't standing up here trying to figure out what to say, man. I ain't having to peep. Look at your neighbor. Say, that ain't brother peeping preach. You know you've met him. Oh, brother peep, peep and preach. He got to peep into your life. Where was you born? Where you live at? Ah. How many children you got? They got to ask you a hundred questions before they prophesy. Yeah, That's a witch. Yeah. Witches have to peep. Yeah. Yeah. Witches have to peep and then mutter. Yeah. Uh, Muhammad, 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 Muhammad. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Anybody here? <laughs> they got to get their motor going. Blessing, Lord. I ain't got to peep yeah. nowhere. Yes. Look at your neighbor say, Thou shalt not be a brother or sister peep squeak. Yes. <laughs> peep, 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 peep. Oh, brother peeping Tom, got peep into your life before he can say, Thus saith the word of God to you. You know, I've had peeping preachers in denominations stand around a big table one time because they got offended because they asked me, um, Brother Marvin, what's the greatest hindrance to having revival? in our denomination in southeast Georgia. And as I studied around the table, looked around the table, uh, I thought, man, none of these jokers never have revivals. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. I said, that's easy. Preachers. Well, you fit it, go around the table. <laughs> One of the chiefs stood up then to walk around the table, and this was his defense to my statement. Well, I'm a pastor, and uh, I have just learned when I want to have revival at my church, I don't usually uh, offer that time to an evangelist in my pulpit. I'd rather have another pastor, because that pastor better knows what I deal with on a weekly basis at the church. And usually I like to talk with that pastor weeks in advance before the schedule of the revival and, and tell him of the dis different issues and circumstances that I'm dealing with presently at the church so he can better prepare his sermons. I thought, oh God, they're talking sermons. I, I was over there just... <laughs> See, sermons you can buy off the internet. Yeah. Listen. You can get them off everybody else's book and web page. Come on, somebody. But a message, you get an order. Yeah. Oh, yes. I thought, Lord, have mercy. They've been in this this long and they still don't have no more wisdom than that. Yeah. You know, in other words, they wanted Brother Peeping preach. All right. 
uh, let me give you enough information uh, yeah, so you can yeah. peep a little bit here. Let me let me peep into to the, our finances here. Let me show you the books. <laughs> Let me, let me let you peep in the sister so-and-so's life. She's dealing with this. She's going through all that. Or this one gives me trouble. And they're like this. And, and they sit here. And they... If you got to do all that, preach your own revival. And that's why some of them do. Because they're afraid of prophet. Or true evangelist. <laughs> Is going to come in and not peep, but poke into their own stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Prophets don't peep, they poke. I had somebody not long ago tell me, he said, that's why so-and-so never wanted you to come to his church. I said, the Holy Ghost still exposed him, doesn't it? Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Y'all still in Psalms 120?